Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. The remarks of an Intel director shocked the global semiconductor industry, with the popularization of GAFIT and CFET three-dimensional transistor technology, the core of chip manufacturing is shifting from lithography machines to etching machines. What does this mean? While ASML's EUV lithography machine is still struggling with the sky-high price of $150 million and 3 nanometer precision, China's etching machine has quietly broken through the atomic level control limit of 0.2 angstroms, 0.02 nanometers, which is equivalent to carving 5 million grooves on human hair. Domestic etching machines have not only entered TSMC's 5 nanometer production line, but also won 70% of the domestic market share in Q1 2025. This revolution in technological paradigms is pushing China to the C position stage of chip competition. The world of chip manufacturing used to be dominated by lithography machines. ASML's EUV lithography machine is like a precision projector, printing the circuit design on the silicon wafer, and the process below 7 nanometers depends entirely on it. Intel's director broke the window paper. Three-dimensional transistor structures such as GAFIT and CFET are deconstructing the myth of lithography machines. GAFIT makes the transistor gate into a three-dimensional rice dumpling scheme to wrap the electronic channel 360 degrees. CFET is more radical, directly stacking N-type and P-type transistors into a three-story building. This design allows chip density to be improved without having to stick to lithography accuracy. CFET can save 40% of wafer space, which is equivalent to converting a bungalow into a skyscraper. The three-dimensional structure brings about a process earthquake. In the past, planar fin FET technology was used, and the etching steps were about 50 times. In the Gaffey era below 3 nanometers, the number of etchings increased to more than 200 times. After the lithography machine projects the circuit pattern onto the wafer, the real highlight begins. The etcher must be like a nano-level sculptor, accurately cutting off excess materials. Intel's own Intel 18A process exposed the trend, and the simultaneous use of high NAUV lithography and ribbon FET, GAFIT variant, the weight of the etching process has obviously soared. When TSMC rejected ASML's new generation of high NAUV lithography machines due to cost, the counterattack of the etching machine was unstoppable. The core logic of this technological revolution is very straightforward. The lithography machine determines how fine the pattern is, and the etching machine determines whether the three-dimensional structure can be carved out. The breakthrough of domestic etching machines is not based on overtaking on the curve, but on the crushing of hardcore technology. The Primo Twin Star Etcher released by AMEC in 2025 shocked the industry with its 0.2 angstrom accuracy, which is only one-tenth of the diameter of a silicon atom, which is even more severe than the limit of ASML's lithography machine. What's more amazing is that the left and right dual reaction tables operate simultaneously, and the error in processing 1,000 wafers is only 0.9 angstrom slash minute. Plasma control technology is the first to bear the brand. SMIX, ultra-high frequency pulse modulation, brings the plasma density stability to 99.99%, completely solving the problem of cheap yield fluctuations. The self-developed etching brain system collects 100,000 sets of data per second, dynamically adjusts the gas and RF power, and locks the key dimension error within plus or minus 0.3 nanometers. In Yangtze Memory's 128-layer 3D NAN production line, SMIX equipment accounts for more than 40%, and the annual production capacity of a single unit reaches 50,000 pieces. Atomic Layer Etching, ALE, is the killer of North Huachuang. Traditional etching is like chopping wood with an X, while ALE is like carving DNA chains with embroidery needles. Its pulse gas injection system compresses the reaction time to 0.01 seconds, and quantum sensing feedback technology monitors the depth in real time through electron spin resonance with a resolution of 0.01 nanometers. 
Actual measured data shows that the NMC660 device has a 98.5% uniformity in etching the gate of logic chips, crushing similar models of applied materials. The material revolution completes the last link. Zhongwan's leading research and development of 9N-level ultra-high-purity silicon electrodes has increased corrosion resistance by three times, and the cost is only 60% of Japan's cost tech. Zhongxi Electronics Aluminum Nitrite Ceramic Vacuum Chamber reduces the thermal deformation coefficient to 0.5 ppm degrees Celsius, allowing the equipment to run continuously from 72 hours to 200 hours. In Q4 2024, the localization rate of domestic etching machine parts soared from 35% to 70%, and the equipment delivery cycle was cut by two-thirds. The spark of technological breakthroughs is igniting the industry chain. After Smix Ningbo Base used SMIC Primo Twin Star, the yield of the 5 nanometer test line soared to 92%. Huawei High Silicon simultaneously launched the 2 nanometer chip design verification based on this equipment. More importantly, SMIC built a patent firewall through 6 million pages of technical documents, and the parts were 100% localized, completely getting rid of the US technology clamp. Market data confirms the reconstruction of the pattern. In Q1 2025, the domestic market share of domestic etching machines soared to 70%, and the global share exceeded 15%. The revenue of AMEC ranked among the top four in the world, second only to LAM Research, Applied Materials, and Tokyo Electron. Cost advantage has become a deadly weapon. The price of domestic equipment is 40% lower than that of imported equipment, which has driven the construction cost of 28 nanometers production lines down by 25%. The dual wheel drive of policy and demand is equally fierce. The third phase of the National Bait Fund has tilted more than 20 billion yuan to the equipment field, and the localization rate of equipment in new wafer fabs is required to be no less than 35%. The two-hour industrial circle formed in the Yangtze River Delta and the Pearl River Delta has tripled the speed of equipment from AMEC and NARA from factory to installation. Shenzhen Synchalize Optical Measurement System has a detection speed three times that of KLATRON in the United States, and Zhuhai Hunger Microelectronics Wafer Level Multi Drive Dissociation Etching Equipment has entered mass production in the Hate Wafer Fab. The real winner lies in technical collaboration. MX Etching Machine is equipped with Synchalize ALD Thin Film Deposition Equipment and Norris Cleaning Machine. The domestic equipment chain can cover the full process below 5 nanometers. The domestically produced LDPUV lithography machine tested by Huawei's Dunguan factory indicates that the entire industry chain has entered the countdown for breakthrough. The rise of etching machines has directly shaken the foundation of ASML's hegemony. When LAM Research launched solid-state plasma etching equipment with a 100-fold increase in response speed, and applied materials accelerated the layout of atomic layer etching patterns, Chinese equipment manufacturers have already defined the rules in the new battlefield. Intel's technological shift has opened a crack. 3D chip stacking requires the etching depth-to-width ratio to rush from 40 to 1 to 100 to 1, and the Tianhe project, launched by SMIC, is working on the 200 to 1 process. Two-dimensional material etching has become a new focus and the low-damage molybdenum disulfide etching solution developed by North Huachuang and Tsinghua University is 40% faster than traditional silicon-based chips. These technologies no longer revolve around lithography accuracy, but are directly aimed at the carving ability of three-dimensional structures. The response from the industry and is more